Hi folks, this is your MWIS fleeting view for Friday and the weekend. It's not looking like one for the fair weather walker over the days ahead as we have low pressure in charge, which means unsettled conditions with strong winds and heavy rain in the forecast. The worst of that is across Wales during the day on Friday with a swathe of heavy rain sweeping through accompanied by gale force winds soon severe across the higher mountains, speeds 60 or even 70 miles per hour for a time, at least in gusts during the middle of the day. The strengthening winds will advance into northern England through the afternoon too as rain moves in here as well. And Scotland gets away with lower wind speeds much of the day, although they will tend to strengthen the gales arriving here as we head into the evening and the night. Some patchy rain and showers pushing northwards as well. This is how that looks on the sequence through the day then. That rain across the highlands, fairly patchy in nature, but maybe quite persistent across more western regions for a few hours during the morning into the middle of the day across the northwest highlands towards Skye. One or two localised showers just across the central and western highlands through the afternoon, drifting northwards. The heavy rain across Wales may be accompanied by some thunder and lightning as well in there. And that rain, then you can see, sweeping further northwards and eastwards, getting into the southwest Scotland later in the afternoon. And that heavier rain will then tend to set in across the southern highlands through into the evening and the night. This is in three hour time steps into the night. You can see that extensive swathe of rain across the highlands there. As we go towards dawn on Saturday morning, that uh, heavier and more prolonged rain is focused towards the north but various clusters of showers will follow from the southwest across all areas into Saturday daytime. The chart then looks like this with the centre of low pressure somewhere over Northern Ireland or just toward the west of Scotland. Now the exact position of the centre of that low is crucial in terms of the wind speeds for Saturday. It may well be that much of the highlands is just in the broad centre of the low which means relatively low speeds would become gusty though around showers so do be prepared for changing conditions through the day. Stronger winds more likely over England and Wales and again could well become severe as that low circulates back in and tightens the isobars across Wales as we go through the daytime so here the greater risk of gales becoming severe gales on the tops and lots of bits of fronts and troughs in the forecast all of that means areas of heavy rain and some thundery showers so do be aware of lightning again in the forecast through the day on Saturday. The chart for Sunday daytime shows the centre of the low having pulled away further northeastwards by this stage, but overall it looks a windier day for most places with pretty strong to gale force winds across many mountains. There's a bit of uncertainty just across the highlands on the peak strength, but it could well be 30, 40 miles per hour with gusts over 50 at times across many high tops during the day. And once more, it's a day of some heavy showery bursts. Those will rattle from west to east during the day. Again, the risk of an isolated rumble of thunder, perhaps some more persistent rain in west and northwest Scotland associated with the wraparound of that front. Temperatures will be cool across all the mountains, well down in single figures across the high tops. And where exposed to that wind, we'll feel sub-zero as cold as minus five on the highest summits during the day. So do be prepared for that. Difficult conditions overall, then you can find all your local details on our website. Stay safe if you are heading out. That is your fleeting view. Thanks for watching.